Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here with a special video. So, for fun, I decided to try to do the Aurelian Soul Adventure with my level 7 Poro King. And uh, we've gotten pretty far so far, so I figured I would record the rest, see how far we can get. Now, since I'm recording, we're probably going to die right away, but still there is that odd chance we might actually make it to the end. So what we've gotten so far, not really a lot. We got gearing up, so game start summon two armed gearheads. That's nice just so we can get a couple extra keywords. Really help us get our scaling off from our star powers. Sorcery, really nice. Officer backup, again, just summon a unit at the start of the game. With our keywords, we can start getting that scaling as fast as possible. And we're also able to get crush, allies of overwhelm. Again, another keyword, trying to get that scaling off as soon as possible, but then this also helps us end the game. If you don't know, right down here, round start, if allies have four or more unique keywords, grant allies 2-2. Two, two. So we're trying to get those unique keywords as fast as possible so our whole board starts scaling up. For our support champion, we were able to grab Victor, and he came with the armed gearheads. We already cut the other card. For some special things we picked up, so we were able to get Poro Stories with Summoner Stone, pretty nice there. The Warden, this is again trying to get those keywords, and we were actually able to pick up Colorful Snacks with both Emperor's Favor and Grifter's Deck, so that's pretty awesome, and even Poro Cannon to again try to get some more Poro generation going. So we did lose our first revive to the very first boss, but we're able to continue on through here. We're gonna try for Viego, now the entire run might come crashing down right now, but let's see what we can do. All right, so hold on to the Poro King, we'll get rid of Victor, Heart of the Fluffet, and Spirit's Refuge. All decent cards, but we'd rather draw them later. Ah, three Poro Kings, that's that's not good. We needed cheap cards in the beginning. Alright, so let's see. Yep, we already have our one star power able to activate, so as long as we don't lose all of our units, we should be fine. We'll just try to fill out our board, though. Let's discard one of the Poro Kings. Alright, beautiful. Already got that scaling going. So let's just attack for some early damage, and there goes most of their health. We wanted to attack before they could play anything. So we just have to try to survive till our next attack. And then should be GG. So we're just not going to play anything here. Oh, they didn't want to either. Nice. Alright, now they do have some powerful spells, but this might be GG. <laughs> Alright, beautiful. So that was Viego down. Uh, yeah, I think let's do the Pouty Pour with Quick Attack. More keywords, perfect. We don't have any revolves, but let's see what we can get from this epic shop. Vanguard Lookout. That uh, can be okay. Well, this is a bit of a waste since we already are going to get regen on him. I guess having some other units to sacrifice early if we need to wouldn't be bad. I think we will grab one of these just for the item, just so that it can maybe activate before he's empowered. Iceborne Legacy isn't bad for the Poros. Since we have Sorcery, I think I will actually get uh, Flash Freeze. And even the Shadow Assassin for some extra draw and the Mana Deposit is pretty good. Alright, so we have Azir with Perfected Mana Flow. This could be a bit rough. Alright, we want to hold on to spells. Let's get rid of the Heart of the Fluff. I think we'll probably end up using Flash Freeze. So let's let him attack. So these units are more just fodder so that we can let them die. <laughs> so that they can activate one of our other star powers. Sacrifice. 
Alright, so that's Frostbite. Let's see what champion we get. Huh, Soraka. Interesting. You are better than this. Sound the alarm! Uh, I guess let's Go block no like further. this. Won't pass these walls. <laughs> Hello there. Alright, not too bad. Stay safe. Yeah, I think let's play the Poro just so we have even more keywords going on. Right, I think let's play our lonely Poro here. To the streets! Show them the might of our army! Shows of power excite the people and quell our enemies. Guess there's no one else that really needs the heal. We'll attack like this, they'll be able to defend and kill some of our units, but that's okay, we should be able to refill our board rather easily. Alright, let's see, will this be able to kill him? Not quite. Let's maybe kill this unit over here. It's important to try to have as full of a board as possible, so that that stacking buff hits as many units as possible. To me, my name echoes through every rock, every canyon. Shireen, see what I this is going to be a lot of sand soldiers. Shireen is sand and sky, past and present. Well then. I understand. Right, let's block tomorrow. like this. Let's talk this out. Now they'll attack again, summoning a whole bunch of more, but at least we got through their first wave. I think we'll go like this, letting one of our units die, but not taking really any Nexus damage. Alright, let's see what we get with the Shadow Assassin. Oh. I'm quite ready for a new adventure. Well, definitely did not see that one coming. Yeah, I think this will be fine. We'll just open attack and I think we should be good. They only have one blocker after all. Alright, this should be GG. Getting more Poro Nips and getting that Mana Crystal, not bad. Misfortune with Duplicate, so she goes pretty wide and then she deals a lot of damage to blockers. This again will be a pretty tough one. Uh, I think we'll get rid of the Catamobile. Uh, we'll hold on to the rest though. So they're going to want to play Misfortune. I feel like, actually, let's use frass, uh, Flash Freeze when uh, we need to defend. So we'll play a Poro Stories here, summon another unit. No Alright, no decent amount of early game damage. Oh, that's not good. 
they gave vulnerable to some of our more important units. It is a wide board. So I think even if we frostbit uh, Misfortune, it wouldn't matter since all of these love taps would kill them anyways. Love ya. So I partially want to play Poro Nip to get the extra mana gem, but I think I'll hold off until we need it to actually kill one of the misfortunes. Right, again, let's just open attack. Uh, let's get rid of this unit here. So we know they're going to be able to block and kill some of our units, we're just trying to do as much damage as we can. Also, we could use the Poro Nip to end up saving one of our more important units and killing Misfortune. Never stop shooting. All right, so almost got them down. I go wherever the waves take me. I think let's play our lonely Poro here. So we're trying to be efficient with our cards and not replacing the ones we already have on the board. I think we'll let this Poro die. We have more than enough to refill our ranks. Love ya. I think we'll just, yeah, play a couple of Pouty Poros. And we'll open attack and GG. Well, I think we'll upgrade our Poro stories and didn't think we would actually make it, but... We're going to be going up against Aurelian Soul with Unyielding. Let's see how we do. Alright, Poro Snacks. This is actually a pretty good opening hand. Alright, we will pass to see who they decide to take off the board. Oh, that's that's perfect. Sure, let's go for Colorful Snacks first. Keep your distance. Uh, Samira's annoying. Give her challenger. We don't want them to be able to play anything else. I'm gonna go like this, get one of their annoying units off the board, and dealing a good amount of damage to them. Don't have any warning shots. The age of dragons is begun. Don't mind 
Sure, let's just deal one more damage to the Nexus. That is not good for us. Yeah, that's bad. Won't pass these walls. So the Poro King will be able to get rid of some of their, or their strongest unit. Sadly, we can't do that yet. We'll probably have to do that against Aurelian Soul. No light but our sun, no god but a seer. Ah, oh, that's bad. We wanted to capture Aurelian Soul, but now we're going to capture Nautilus. Alright, I think let's open attack, try to do as much damage uh, as we can. Oh, it looks like we're at least getting Senna off the board, so that's not too bad. Uh, I think we'll protect our champion. Getting dark. The skies darken with their approach. Huh, they didn't play Rally and Soul. Interesting. Come hither, you beasts of glory. Now I pack a punch. So you don't want to overfill our hands, so we'll hold off on the poro stories for now. That is a lot of overwhelm. Let's play, well, could play Poro Snacks. I don't think Poro Nip would really help us here. Okay, so we could kill Aatrox. That wouldn't be too bad. Let's go like this. Isn't it thrilling? Ah, that, that's really annoying. Well, we put up a good fight. Sadly, we qu weren't quite able to come away with the win there. Did get us up to level 12, though, so that's not uh, too bad. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, definitely like and subscribe, and I hope you have a great day.